Hey everybody, welcome back to another adventure of Coffee Girl Gaming. Let's jump into this. Hey guys, so welcome back to Deja Brew. You know, one of the islands that we love and has not been getting very much attention lately. Deja Brew, who we put so much time and effort into, and I just feel like it's time we came back here. So we're here. And, um... Again, I know I told you before, I don't really see this island as a wintry island. So what we'll do is we'll go to work today. Let's go to work. Let's go. I'm excited to see who's on the island today, who we can build a house for. And I'm hoping, hoping, hoping we'll get some good ones. I really am. Um, all the little villagers hanging out on the island today. I know I was here a couple days ago and... I, I really do love Deja Brew. I do. I love the way it came out, but I've been so focused on Latte Land lately that I haven't even been paying attention here. And the cafe is really bad. But let's go see. Let's see what's going on. Okay, Oroville, it's time to go to work. I'm hoping that there's other people on the island that I really love and I would love to build a home for them. Um, I, I know I saw on the island one day, we saw the Gangsta Hamster Marlow. And I really should have built him a house when I saw him that day because I think his house is totally cute. Like it'd be all gangster theme and stuff. So, um, but maybe we'll get a cute peppy one today. You never know. Okay, so we have Megan who just joined George's Island. We have Monique. Monique's kind of cute. We have Sparkle who just left our island on Latte Land. Oh, she must be really burning up here. She has that fan. Uh, let's see, we have Pudge. Yeah, Pudge. I was like, let me make sure I get your name right here. Um, Pudge, you're kind of cool, kind of. So we have Vesta here. None of them are really screaming, hey, you know, I need a home makeover to me. I don't know if there's anybody else here. I've created every single island with, or every single home with you guys. So there's no, like mystery home out there that you guys haven't really seen um so I've, I've done them all with you because i want to share my adventure and i haven't been on this island enough so let's go to work and see whose home we're gonna redo hey guys i'm back good morning coffee girl good morning oh you got like a barbie doll here that's so cool and what the heck is that thing back there? Like a walking, like maybe for a doctor's office? <gasps> oh, and I love these. I love these ropes. Cost $1,600 for a rope partition. I have to get that. And I have to. And I might just want the doctor thingy. I'm sorry to all the nurses or doctors out there that know exactly what these are. EKG machine. Okay. Yes, we will buy it. You never know when you need an EKG machine, right? And then for a dress-up doll, totally looks like a Barbie, so we'll buy it. Okay, so we got a few new things today. What up, girl? What's up? Are you looking for some work, coffee girl? You know I am. Okay, let's get you working. Awesome. I'm ready for this. Good luck out there. Thank you. Okay, so whose home should we work on? I kind of maybe want to work on Monique because she's new. I've never really dealt with her before. But then Sparkle, I love Sparkle. She's so cute and we know how she likes that ice house. And Megan is new to George's Island. We've never had Pudge or Vesta before. So they're kind of just over here. I know somebody was telling me that a lot of the villagers are on the in the cafe area, but I haven't built anything on the island, so there's not really anywhere else for them to go that I'm aware of. Okay, one of these three. This is where it would be awesome to be doing a live stream, and I can just have you guys choose. Okay, you guys, so I concocted a little spinning wheel here, and instead of me choosing which villager we're going to do, we're going to spin the wheel and let the wheel choose. So let's go ahead and pull this up here, and we'll see who's home we're going to redo. Okay, so here is our spinning wheel. And so we're going to go ahead and spin it and see who it lands on. Let's go. So as you can see, we have Megan, Sparkle, and Monique. And it looks like Monique is going to be the winner today. So let's go ahead and choose her and see exactly what type of home she's looking for. 
All right, let's go talk to Monique. I'll just come out and say it. I want to build a vacation home. Can we discuss my options at your office? Sure, let's chat. She's very forward. That's just what I was hoping to hear. Well, I look forward to simply diving into the details with you. All right, I'm so excited to discuss the details of my home with you. Psst. <laughs> my ideal vacation home would be something along these lines. Okay, so elegant furniture, obviously. She wants a dresser, a bed, and a lamp, which I can do. Oh, that's very nice. I really like your concept. All right now, the next step is for you to choose an island for the client, coffee girl. Okay, let's see what home looks elegant. Put her on her own island in the desert. I kinda wanna save some of the really cute homes for villagers that I really like, but a lot of these homes are really cute. Uh, that looks kinda elegant. Maybe we'll do this one. Yeah, I think this is Monique. My, that sounds wonderful. If you can make it happen, then I can't wait to see it. Now, Monique, we found an excellent location for you, but you need to see if you're, but you need to see it for yourself before we begin. Coffee girl, please lead Monique to the site, and best of luck. Thank you. You're so sweet. Okay, here it is. Do you like it? Oh, what a wonderful vacation home. Seeing it with my own eyes, well, wow, it's stunning. I'm on pins and needles to see what you do with it from here. All right, so an elegant Euro pad. Let's go be in here. Okay, so we've got these big boxes here. It's all kind of a goldy, brassy color, don't you agree? Um, okay, well, let me make sure that the bed is the center of attention. Someone pick these things up. Okay, gosh, that is one shiny bed. We'll put it right in the middle here, center of attention. Okay, and then we're gonna need a nightstand that kind of matches the other furniture. Oh, she's got chairs and everything. Oh my gosh. A mirror? Okay. I'm checking out, oh, we can put a harp here. Tell me that's not her. Tell me that is not her. A golden vase music she has some very elegant taste indeed we'll grab that fancy picture frame well in a minute we will okay so i do love the walls i do or do we want this one no i like this one better okay we'll put this on the ceiling this on the floor? No, not that. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, right, you guys? I mean, come on. We've got to make this very elegant. Okay, we don't want clothes. I'm contemplating on which floor I like best. It's either this one or this one. I think I'm going to go with this one and then put a rug down. If I can get the rug to go down. Okay, let me move this stuff around now. We'll put the harp in the corner. And then the light fixture. I might want to change the color of the light fixture. Let me take that back and I'm going to get a new one. The gold one is probably the way to go. It matches her attire more. Okay. Do they have this in gold? No, I didn't want that. Vintage. No, no gold. So we don't want that at all. And then... You have to put the wistful painting there because it's very elegant. Some plants, we'll put a couple of those, maybe a TV. She's gonna have such elegant taste. Okay, and I really want a nightstand, but she only has dressers, oh my gosh. Golden plate armor, that is so awesome. Okay, let me put together what we have now and then we'll go from there. I don't want this thing on the ceiling that I have, but then at the same time, it kind of looks cool because it has the wine in the... Well, no, I'm not going to do it. So we have to put this dude in the corner. Too bad they can't, like, sit sideways or, like, kit kitty corner because it would look so much better. And we got that there. I need to get on the wall here. I'm contemplating where I want these things, so 
let's see, maybe right there. And then we'll put the other painting on the wall. So I just, I'm just gonna get rid of that and we'll just go this way. She has to have all expensive paintings, darling, all expensive. Wonder what color stools they have. Yellow, right now it's brown. I'm looking at a stool. I don't like the brown. No, I don't like any of those. I don't think they match the room. Okay, and we need a chair. Oh, and she needs, she needs an urn possibly and a plate. Okay. Oh my gosh, I want all of these. I'm gonna make this room so tacky. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have to get the table, the chair, or the couch and the dresser. And then we have to do the light too. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Let's play around with this. So on that, we will put the light. And I just feel like this thing up here is in my way. Let's try and get rid of this. There we go. Okay, so that thing's gone. Now let's go back to the floor. We're gonna put the couch over here and then the table in front of it which I need to move the couch down more because I don't like the way the table is right there when you walk through the door. No, no, nothing works. Okay, let's try something else here. Now I'm just grabbing things and picking them up <laughs> because I have no room. Okay, oh, you know what? I'm gonna put it this way. Maybe, we'll see, we'll see. I wanna leave that there, but I want the table. There we go, that's how I want it. Okay, and then we want the TV above the table. We'll put that on the wall here. Mm. Okay, and then we'll put the chair over here. I need to move that TV up a little bit. But I do have all the things she wants in the room. I don't have a mirror. Ooh, I have to give her a mirror. So we'll move the TV up on the wall a little bit more. Just a little bit. And the mirror. I want this mirror to go on the wall. I wonder if it can go on the wall. Let me see if it can go on the dresser. No. Oh, it looks like a pretty big mirror, so I think you can only stand and look at it. Okay, well, let me get just a few more wall decorations and then we'll be done. Almost done, people. She would, of course, she would definitely have a picture of herself on the wall. And we'll do this one. Okay, let's see how that looks. So we'll put this one right here. She might put let me move this here real quick. We'll put her there and then we'll put her here. I kind of want that on her dresser. Okay, where did the picture of herself go? There we go. So she would definitely have that on her dresser because she wants to look at herself, you know? You know what I mean. It's Monique. Okay, and... What do we have on this wall? We have nothing. Let's put the girl with the earrings on that wall. This one's a little too cluttered. We'll put it right here. And then we have one more picture to put up. All right, and then we have to fix the light. I keep forgetting to fix the light. Put that right in the middle of the room. And I think we are officially done. All right, Monique, I hope you enjoy this because this is a very elegant gold room. So I hope it is up to your liking. How is that vacation home coming along? Is it ready? It's ready. Well then, I'll just have myself a little look around then. Hey, coffee girl, hold up a sec. Sorry, just need a moment for a quick supervision to design consult if you don't mind. Uh oh, I think I'm in trouble. You're getting really good at this interior design thing. 
but I've got a cool technique to show you that you can take it to the next level. Okay, remember how Wardell made the office furniture sparkle just by polishing it? Well, he showed me how to do it. With this neat trick, you can make a room's furniture shine. Ooh, get ready for Operation Sparkle. Step one, get your bod and your polishing duds ready with L, okay? Step two, face the furniture item and press A, okay? Step three, oh wait, there is no step three. So that's it. If you spot any furniture that could do with an extra sparkle, try it out. Okay, we're sparkling, we're sparkling. Okay, we're gonna sparkle here, how interesting. Well, whether or not to use it is entirely up to you. Okay, we're sparkling over here. We are definitely making your stuff sparkle. So we have to hit L and then A. Oh, okay. Press A again to remove the effect, okay. All right, it's sparkling. Let's try this. Whoa, she's like super quick. Okay, how about the couch? We have to make everything sparkle in here because everything's like gold. Can we do the painting? No painting, but we can do this. Oh my gosh, this is so Monique. <laughs> I feel like housekeeping. Um, okay, we have a few more things to polish and then she'll be good to go. All right, the chair. Now, if she doesn't like this, I don't know what's going on with her. Okay, and how's that vacation home coming? It's ready. It really is ready this time. It's sparkling ready. You did it. Thank you. Voila. Okay, an elegant pad. We'll take a picture like that. Wow. So Monique. What do you think? Do you think she likes it? <gasps> she laid on the bed. She's in heaven right now. Is she gonna sit on the chair? I think she loves it. I do. I think she's in love. Thank you so much for everything you've done today. Now, I think I'll put my feet up and enjoy my new vacation home. Would you care to join me? Um, sure. Of course, take all the pictures you like. All right, let me just snap a few extra pictures. I think I kind of like the one that I took already, but let's just wait and see. Okay, so everything looks fabulous to me in the room, so let's go back to Lottie and see what she says. That excellent photo you took is already uploaded to the Happy Home Network, you know? But if you took more than one and you want to change out the featured shot, press plus at the vacation home. Okay. All right, let's go. If you want to head back, go talk to the client real quick first, okay? Hmm, what is it? I'm heading back. Thank you so much for today and do take care of getting home. See you later, Monique. Welcome back. How did things go? I have to think you're pretty used to the work now, right? It's payday again. Here's 6,000 pokey just for you. Thank you. Awesome. I want to thank you again for all the hard work that you've been putting in. You're such a big help. That said, it's not good for anyone to work themselves too hard. So it's break time. Awesome. Go enjoy a change of pace for as long as you like. I suggest taking a walk around the whole island. Maybe I'll go out for a stroll too. I could use the steps. Oh, speaking of exercise, there are vines on the cliffs nearby sturdy enough for anyone to climb on them. You can really work up a sweat doing that. Try climbing them with A. I bet you'll really enjoy it. Talk to you later, coffee girl. Okay, well, let's go on outside. To me, it seems a little weird that she's going for a walk, so I'm wondering if she's going to talk to me out here. Hmm. I'm going to see if I can find her. Villagers everywhere. <laughs> Oh, we have Clyde here. Oh, look, she's standing in front of here. Oh, coffee girl, you startled me. What's up? Well, I got lost in thought looking at this property. Have you noticed all the unused properties around here? 
Before I set up shop, someone else was working on developing the island. They built all these. But for whatever reason, it didn't work out, and I guess they just left the properties like this. Lately, I've been thinking about how we could put these properties to use. Maybe some new facilities? If we had even more to offer our clients, I'm sure our vacation home business would boom. I just know we could breathe a lot of life into these old properties. Maybe we start with this one. I think it was originally going to be a school of some kind. Why not pick up where they left off? All I have to do is get a little paperwork in order and we can get to work. Okay, okay. Pump the brakes, Lottie. Sorry. I just get so excited when I think about business development. We're going to need more clients to make these facilities viable, so let's keep growing that client base. For now, I'll head back to the office. Come and see me when you're ready to go to work. All right. All right, you guys, so that's exciting news. So hopefully we'll be building a school soon. I'm excited to put that together. And um, I want to thank everybody for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed as usual. Don't forget to check out George's new station. It's George. We're trying to get him to 1,000 subscriptions so that he can start having comments and stuff. I know today he was like, I can't even make comments on my channel. And I felt so bad for him. So um, don't forget to like and subscribe both my channel and George's channel. His link will be in the description down below. And um, we're off to the next adventure. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.